Hello from Seoul. Pad Thai? Good. Dom Yum Soup? Nice. But you can't talk about Thai food without this bad boy. Alright, are you guys ready? Let's get started. Today, we're gonna be making pot caprao, Thai basil stir fry. Now, some of you might say, Aaron, making Thai food at home sounds complicated. Are you sure we can make it in under 15 minutes? Don't worry about it. If you follow my lead, you will make one of the easiest and most delicious stir fries that you ever had. I guarantee it. For this, you will need some red Thai chilies, garlic, shallot, red and green chilies, ground beef, and some fresh basil leaves. That's it. So simple, right? What? You can get these Thai chilies? That's okay. Then just use any spicy chilies from your supermarket. Don't worry about it. Just because you use other types of chilies, the universe is not gonna be destroyed. So just use what you have. That's the best. But some of you still might be thinking, Aaron, are you really gonna add more chilies? We've already got some Thai chilies. Are you trying to kill us? Whoa, whoa. Take it easy, my friend. These are not spicy at all. They're just gonna add beautiful colors to your dish. So please make sure to get some chilies with no heat or bad peppers. So if you have a cold brown situation while driving because you didn't take my advice, I'm not responsible. All right, put seven cloves of garlic into a mortar and pestle and break them down a little bit. Once that's done, add three Thai chilies, one shallot, and keep grinding and get them into a rough paste. So simple, right? But while you're doing this, try not to look at it like how's everything going? Because all the juices from spicy chilies can go straight into your eyes. What a disaster. I told you, so if that happens, I'm not responsible. What? No mortar and pestle? That's okay. You can just use a knife or food processor. No problem at all. But if you want to impress your girlfriend or if you're trying to be legit, this is unnecessary. And lastly, thinly slice some mild chilies. As I told you earlier, these bad boys will add a nice pop of color and make it more beautiful. This time, let's make the sauce. In a small container, add 1 tablespoon of fish sauce, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 teaspoon of black soy sauce or dark soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 1 and a half teaspoons of sugar and give it a good mix. That's it, couldn't be any easier. But if you wanna upgrade your sauce, instead of just regular soy sauce, use a mix of soy sauce and this gold mountain sauce. Trust me, that will make you feel like you're in Thailand. Before you start cooking, let's talk about the basils. Actually, we're supposed to use holy basil to make it more authentic. But you know what? It was not easy to get them here in Korea. So I'm just gonna use some regular basil. Of course, you could use some Thai basil too. But for my taste, this tastes better. And most importantly, they're so much easier to access. So I'm gonna use this bad boy today. Alright, it's cooking time. In a wok or pan, add 2 tablespoons of oil and heat it over high heat. Once it's heated, add 450 grams of ground beef. And then spread it out and just leave it in the pan for about 2 minutes. Once the beef is nicely browned on the bottom, flip and stir fry it for about 3 minutes. Here, we wanna render out the fat and evaporate the liquid as much as possible. So make sure you give it a good stir and keep tossing it around. When the beef is cooked, add your chili garlic paste and stir fry for about 1-2 to two minutes over medium high heat. When the fat from the beef meets our chili garlic paste, that will create an amazing flavor and fragrance in your dish. So if your beef is too lean so you couldn't get enough fat like mine, please add some more oil and let all the flavors infuse. That's the key. Alright, once you can smell the amazing aroma, pour the sauce you made and give it a good stir for about 1 minute. And then grab a spoon, give it a quick taste, and add more salt or fish sauce if it's needed. But mine is perfect. Alright, let's turn the heat off. And add one and a half cups of fresh basil leaves, mild chilies, a few shakes of black pepper, and give it a final mix. That's it. So simple, right? For information, you could just serve it with some rice, and I'm sure it will taste great. But serving this dish with no fried egg on top, that's a crime. So let's go ahead and make them real quick. Add a generous amount of oil to a pan. 
and heat it over medium high heat. Once it gets nice and hot, but not necessarily super super hot, add your egg and tilt the pan so that the egg can kind of like fry in it. What? You worry about the oil splatter and don't want to make your mom angry? Then just carefully pour the hot oil with a spoon. That can be a good option. Alright, finally, it's time to assemble. Let's put some rice on a plate and add a generous amount of beef stir fry. And last but not least, top it up with our beautiful crispy fried egg. That's it. So simple, right? But if you want to make it more authentic, make a little condiment and serve it on the side. In a small bowl, add 2 tablespoons of fish sauce, 1 teaspoon of minced garlic, thinly sliced chili, a pinch of sugar, the juice from half a lime, and give it a good stir. Trust me, this will take it to the next level. Alright, it's done. Let's score our taste tester. Claire? Wow, Whenever I visit a Thai restaurant, I always order Pad Thai because I knew nothing about Thai food. So one day, like as usual, I ordered Pad Thai and add an order, something that I didn't know. And I tasted his dish as always. Oh my god, that was amazing. So I asked Aaron, can we change our dish? <laughs> yes, it was that good and that was this dish. So I'm super excited, let's give it a try. I need more topping, more meat. Cheers! Mmm, 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 녹아가지고 너무 맛있는데 거기다가 마늘도 들어갔지 고추도 들어갔지 그러니까 정말 향긋하니 그냥 이 자체가 너무 향긋하니 너무 맛있네 음 그리고 고추도 좀 많이 들어간 게 그게 좀 마음에 드는 것 같아 그 매콤한 맛이 킹 역할을 해가지고 고기 그 지방 부분에 느끼할 수 있는 그 부분을 잘 잡아주는 것 같아 음 거기에 액젓 향도 되게 강하게 나서 그 특유의 태국 음식만의 그런 느낌을 딱 제대로 받을 수가 있어 음, 맛있다. It's full of umami. So good. 이번에는 이 테이블 소스를 살짝 뿌려가지고 먹어보겠어. 부셔볼게요. Look at this egg yolk. It's like a beautiful sauce. I love it. <웃음> I've got lots of rice, beef, and fried egg. Let's give it. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Like I said, the sauce is perfectly coated with the sauce. 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 So please do not skip it. This one will take it to the next level. Highly recommend it. Ah, 그리고 나는 바질 향이 너무 좋아서 이것도 좋지만 더 넣어도 될것 같아 나한테는. 어, 그린 어니언처럼 팍팍 넣라고. Today, I showed you how to make Thai basil stir fry, one of the greatest Thai foods of all time. How was it? Nothing complicated, right? It's a quick and easy, nutritious, and even budget friendly. So stop worrying and go grab your apron. And if you do, something magical will happen to you. Alright, this is it for today, and I'll see you next time.